Hey, it's Dan Nickerson. I just rolled out a new update to Socrates, both a theme and a plugin update. So this is just an overview video to show you what those features are and how you can implement them. So the first thing you're going to notice is that there's a right hand nav menu. So this is an inside header menu. So you now have the option of below the header or inside the header. If you use the inside header, it does disable the header widget. So if you're using the header widget, that won't appear. But I think you'll like uh, this, new, uh, this new option, which makes it look more like the mainstream themes today and gives you a little more flexibility in design. We also have a hero shortcode. So this is a parallax hero shortcode that'll work in the top banner widget or the bottom banner widget or in a post, wherever you want to use it. I'll show you how to set that up, but it's fully responsive and it's parallax. So if I go like this, you're gonna see it's responsive. If I go up and down, the image doesn't move. Very, uh, very cool effect. Uh, lets you do all kinds of neat things for calls to action and for, uh, you know, you can put a big picture of yourself in here if you want, add a headline and so forth. Then the next thing we have is a sections template. This is kind of a work in progress, but if you're more advanced, if you wanna have full width sections with different colored backgrounds or image backgrounds, you can do that. I will probably create some more short example short codes that you can paste in here. But the idea is that you can enable these sections and you can do more of a traditional kind of a, a landing page that has the full width like other themes. So, you know, I love the, the traditional look of Socrates, but I know people are looking for some modern features. So I'm trying to, to add those and this will give you all kinds of flexibility to add a, a long sales page with different sections and so forth. So a little advanced, but you might like it. The other thing that I did was I added a uh, 404 page customization. So let's just say that I go in here to a bad page. This page is no longer here. I can go into the customizer and I can scroll down to other and you'll see that you can now control the title. So I can say something like 404 page, right? And it changes. I can change, uh, you know, yada, 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 yada. It changes the text or I can disable the search box. Limited functionality, but it's really all you need for a 404 page. You can't paste um, full script code in here or banner code. It will work with links and bold and italic and that kind of stuff, but but that's it. If you weren't familiar with the other tab, there are other options to hide or show dateline, how to show full content, how to show featured image. Whenever I add like a little tiny custom feature, I add it here. Now let me show you, I'm gonna scroll this out a little bit there. Let me show you this again. So if I wanna go and change the, uh, the, the layout, this is the full layout. Um, with inside header. So if I want, I can make it a wrapped layout and then I can change the below header and you'll see that the nav bar goes right back to the way it looks on traditional Socrates install. It's that simple. So inside of layout, change to inside header or below header. You can obviously change all the color customizations as well. You can control the container width here. Um, we did add more options for adding pattern to headers. So if you already have your Socrates theme set up and you install the new version, you might want to double check your header widths and so forth to make sure that they are, uh, are right for you. But you can control padding here to make this uh, bigger and smaller, change the minimum height. So if you want a, a, a smaller bar, you know, you can go in here and, and change the, the padding and it will make a smaller top uh, header area. So it's, that's that simple. Now let me show you how to do the uh, shortcodes. Oh, I should show we also have testimonials now. So here's a testimonial uh, shortcode. Just adds your image with a little rounded effect. So if you add a, upload a square image, it's gonna round it to make it look kind of neat. If you don't want the rounded image, let me know. I can show you the code that replaces it. Uh, but you just add your testimonial and then your name and that's it. So let me go back to the dashboard and I'm gonna go in here to a page and I'm just gonna add the sample page here. Click on it, I should say. Now this is the short codes, right? So you're probably familiar with this, the toolkit plugin. These are all the different short codes. You're now gonna see the testimonial box. So here's the testimonial box. All you do is add in an image here. It's important to do it in text mode. So if I go into text mode, let me clean up some of this stuff here. Add media, there's my image. I'm just gonna go and copy this image. You can see it's a square. And I go in here and I paste it right there. I can add in more content here if I want. Click on update and I go back here. And wait one second. And there is the, uh, the new testimonial. So it's that simple. Uh, there's a width on here. So you'll see that there is a max width of 500 pixels. 
it's not a hundred percent so and it was this won't look it is set for max width so it looks good in a responsive format now if you want you can add in two columns I think a lot of people will do two column testimonials so if I want to go in here I can add in two columns and then I can just go and I could let's just say I copied this right here right and I copy it once I copy it twice click on update go back to sample page and then here is my oh, what did I do <laughs> I didn't do that quite right go back here um, I did the pasted the V update reload so now you can see I have two column two column and of course it's responsive so it's it's compressed it a little bit here but really kind of a simple a simple effect to get a testimonial shortcode so the other thing is we have now have headlines so there's a headline so this is a a big headline here if I want to make this like 70 pixels I can click on up upload go here reload there's my heading text it's got a little shadow effect on it right there but obviously that's what you can use inside of a parallax banner uh, but you can make this as big as you want you control the font size you can align it you can change margins on it and those kind of things now we have the uh, hero banner that's what you saw on the big uh, hero banner here and you can insert different images so I'm gonna go back into text mode I'm gonna go grab an image right here and so here's some sky image I'm just gonna copy this this is a huge image right here uh, paste it here you can upload any kind of different image you want right now I can change the height I can do a minimum height I'm gonna change the minimum height to like 600 pixels make that big and I'll go upload and we'll view that here so this is what that looks like it's just a big parallax image with some basic text that's on there but I can go in here and I can add in the headline go back here paste it inside the code I know I'm going fast but you get the idea there is the headline and now I click on update there again reload and there there's my heading text now if I want to put this in the top banner widget I can just go into appearance and widgets and this is my top banner widget and I can drag a custom HTML and open that up paste the code I can set this so it appears on all pages this is the other one that I've already got and I'm gonna have this only appear on all posts click on save now I go back and you're gonna see that there is my heading text right with my big image and then if I go to a post I'll go to hello world you're gonna see the old one so that is that kind of simple now if I want to go in here and I want to do columns I can add columns in here so if I go in here and do a two column right there and I'll add in some lorem ipsum content on one side and now I'm gonna copy that again and I'm gonna go back here and go back to this first one save it sample page and you can see there is left text and right text and it's fully responsive which is just really slick so that's what happens when you have a big image you can use colors as well for the background if you want to so okay so that covers the um, oh and I should mention sections so with sections we have a short code I'm gonna go in here and edit and with sections we have short codes for that so you just go in here and the reason that you need a short code for the section is because it needs to be full width with the background but it needs to have the container size for the content so this is the section content here so I can just add in some of my placeholder content if I want uh, where to go lorem content right there click on update go back to sections here's my big heading text and there's my big lorem maybe some content with a color background so you can see how that works there's on some installs I'm noticing a little padding uh, issue on so I will I'll work on that and fix that but but anyhow, that's a little overview of the latest Socrates update. Essentially, new header system, the new parallax, um, the new parallax code, which is a very cool way to put a big headline on here or a big call to action. You can use our widget visibility to display multiple hero widgets on any page you want, and it's it's really kind of a neat effect. I think I covered everything. So I hope you enjoyed the video. The downloads are available in the members area, and also you should get an automatic upgrade notice as well. Thanks.